Yo, yo, this is it. I'm Mr. Fang, and you'll listen to Attack of the Beats on illmusic.com. Five beats, five reviews, that's what I do. And uh, this is episode number 201. All the way to 201, yeah. Still hard to believe, but anyway, yeah. So let's get into it right away. First up, we got uh, Dead Bass Records with Oxygen. Let's check it out. Right, right, right. Okay, so that was uh, Dead Bass Records with Oxygen. Now, this one, I really like the, the atmosphere of this beat, right? The whole feel of it. It's got a very good vibe and all that stuff. It's kind of like uh, like some kind of like spacey, you know, I don't know, just some kind of spacey type of beat or whatever. But it's good, though. I like it a lot. And uh, the piano is what really stands out to me, right? That and then, of course, like I said, the, the atmosphere, the, the, the synth and all that. But... Uh, there's a couple of things though, like for example, the kick, right? So I know you got the, the stuttering, rolling uh, kicks and all that stuff. Too. So they do sound good, although I think it's just overused uh, in this in this case, you know? So, I mean, I would say use it, but every so often, maybe maybe like, um, you know, every fourth bar or something like that, you know? Or maybe even maybe just every second bar. But uh, yeah, just kind of like, you know, chill on that a bit. But then you got the snare. Snare's good, but again, the same type of thing. It's like you have... Um, the snare like hitting with that clap, you know, like it's just hitting um, each time, you know what I mean? So I would say only use that when you want to accentuate the snare. So again, like only on like every second, third, fourth bar or something like that, you know, maybe with, like a big reverb on it, you know, that kind of technique, you know, where you have like, you know, you, sometimes you hear that in a beat where you have like, um, like a regular snare going all the way through and then there's one part where they just kind of have like a little breakdown but then the, the snare is like it's like giant gigantic type of thing it's got this big reverb or something just something like that you know so just little things like that but then um there's also the bass which is good i really like the fact that it's heavy but it's maybe a little too heavy but but that's not a big deal but the main thing is just the, the kick and snare i would just say just alter that just slightly and uh you'd be good to go all right, so next up we've got uh, Farah Laversa. I hope I can pronounce that right. Anyway, with uh, Dark Day. Let's check it out.
All right, all right, all right. Okay, so that was uh, Farah La Versa with Dark Day. I hope I pronounced that properly, but anyway. Um, see, this is one of those beats where, you know, I've heard beats like this in the past, you know, quite a few times actually, where it's a good tune. I like what you're doing with it. Like, it, it just seems like everything's in the right place. You know what I mean? But it's just simply a matter of, of just, you know, uh, swapping the sounds out, you know? So, for example, like, I mean, I don't know what you're using, right? I mean, sometimes people, you know, they submit beats, they're using some, like, um, you know, free VSTs or something like that. So, usually those are, like, on the low end. They're not really, like, they don't sound great or whatever. So, in your case, it's kind of like that. It's like, they, this, like the tune is good, but it's the sound. So, if you can find, for example, with that, you know, like, with piano strings or whatever you have, if you could find the type of plugin where you have something that sounds more authentic, you know, so for example, when they have a plugin where they, they actually, you know, uh, record, you know, real instruments versus like, you know, putting something together that sounds cheesy from a keyboard, you know what I mean? Some like some, some like, you know, low priced uh, Casio keyboard or something. And uh, so that's why if you swap that out for something that just sounds better. So, what, you know, sometimes you just can't, right? Like maybe you just can't afford to, to buy something that sounds really, really good. So in that case, what I suggest is there's a couple of options. So first of all, you could keep what you have, but then add some sort of effect to it. So it could be uh, some sort of compression, some reverb, uh, and especially filtering, just something like that to, to just kind of warp the sound somewhat so it just sounds a little better, you know, a little nicer or something. And that's a little more advanced though, depending on you know what, what scale you're at when it comes to beat making and all that. But then the other option too is also just layering stuff. So for example, let's say you have, you know, some cheesy piano and you know you don't want to make it sound you don't want it to be you don't want it to be cheesy. You know what you're trying to mask it somehow. So in that case, you know, maybe put uh, something on top of that, like another sound, maybe like a sampled piano or something, just like one note or just something like that, like one piano note, just to kind of mask it, you know. So you just layer it like that, and then again, then you get the filtering coming in and stuff. So if you just play around like that, maybe then uh, it'll just sound uh, a lot better because you'll have just like more like authentic clean sounds versus something that sounds you know kind of cheesy so so that's about it because sometimes you know like I said you have you know some people using uh, plugins that are, are free and they're just on the cheesy side you know what I mean so so just try to find something that just sounds uh, a little more authentic and uh, yeah that'll make a big difference all right so next up we've got uh, Jafar 4000 with well, this translates to uh, the Polish Spirit Walker. All right, let's check it out. Thank you. Excuse me, uh, I don't wish to be forward, but uh, we'd like to exchange cars with you. So the faster you get out, the better it'll be for your ass. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so that was uh, Jafar 4000 with, I think it's the Polish Spirit Walker. Now, this one is, um, it's, got, it's experimental, right? It's like, it's got all kinds of stuff going on and all that. And the thing is, is that, I mean, it's, it's kind of hard to judge something like this when there's so much happening in the beat. It sounds like there's different kinds of beats in it, really, you know, in a way. Uh, because I don't hear a structure, you know what I mean? So it's like, 
around, I think it's around the 30 second mark where you have something that just sounds good, like it's a nice little melody right there. I would say isolate that, you know, and, and, and use that, try to loop that part and work around that because uh, that to me sounded pretty good. Like it was okay and then you had kind of like a, um, what was that, like, a, like a, some kind of weird synth sound you had coming in and stuff. So it did sound pretty good at that point from like 30 to 50 seconds, let's say. I would say isolate that, work with that, and uh, and then I'm sure it'll make a big, big difference. Because after that, it just kind of drifts off, and like I said, there's no structure as far as I'm concerned. I just don't think that there's much, you know, that's that's kind of like you know rigid. You know what I mean? It's just like every, it's all over the place. And I think a big part of that too is the drums. So because the drums, you got this fast pattern going, a lot of kicks and snares going and stuff. I would say just tone it down, you know, um, get a simpler pattern going, and then swap out the drums for something better because right now they sound like drums that are from like you know like straight from some old school drum machine or or keyboard or something so just try to get something uh some kind of drum sound there's plenty of drum sounds out there i mean there's 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 some in the forums too and all that plenty of drum packs that you can get that are free and uh just use those to swap them out like you know like, like the previous beat you know just swap the stuff out and i think that'll make a big difference you know but just isolate that around around the 30 second 35 second mark something like that uh, i would say work with that and um i think that'll make a big difference all right so next up we've got uh mall havoc with that's fucked up bro let's check it out All right, all right, all right. Okay, so that was uh, Mal Havoc with... Uh, that's funked up, bro. All right, so this one does sound like something on the funk side, of course. Now, it sounds really good. I like it. Um, first of all, props on using that. Uh, uh, it sounds like an 808 to me. Uh, you, you did a good job on that because, you know, a lot of a lot of times I hear the 808. It's just totally out of control. So in your case, no, it's really good. You isolated it nicely, so that's, that's good. Um, really nice piano synth work. It just sounds really good and all that. Uh, no complaints on that, and I like the way the beat moves, the way everything transitions, right? It just it just moves nicely and all that. And I think really the only complaint would be the um, the hand clap. You know, it's like um, it's good. I wouldn't necessarily use it on every snare, but um, I, I think the main issue is that it just it's a little loud in the mix. I think it just needs to sit a little better in the, in the mix, you know, but not a big deal, but I, I just think it just needs to be brought down just slightly. And I think that's one of the downsides of when you're using hand claps, you know, it's like maybe you have the snare, you know, at that level, let's say, and then the hand clap, you know, a little less. So it doesn't sound like just a hand clap. It sounds like a snare with a hand clap, you know what I mean? So, uh, but anyway, not a big deal. But um, the other thing too, is that I was just hoping, I was expecting actually, uh, towards the end, you have like something else come in, like maybe like a higher note string come in 
just to kind of accentuate everything yeah, towards the end like that like you know kind of like a build up because you do have some sort of build up going on and then you wrap it up towards the end so I would say you know just some sort of string part to come in nothing major just something simple uh, but just something just to add to the mix you know and uh, or add to the beat I should say so um, yeah just about it uh, that's about it but basically um, mainly the hand clap thing that was the uh, the issue there but uh, uh, I think if you add some strings I think that would uh, that'd be dope all right okay so next up we've got uh, the last beat it's uh, press Bible thump with risen let's check it out Right, right, right. Okay, so that was uh, Press Bible Thump with Risen. Now, for this, the thing is, is that since we're sampling the Jacksons right there, you know, I mean, technically, you can't go wrong when you're doing that, right? You're sampling the Jacksons or Michael Jackson. and um, But in this case, I, I think the stuff you, you know, like um, once you bring in, uh, once you change it up, it's around, uh, I can't remember what part it is, maybe around 20 seconds or something. I, from that forward, I would just get rid of the rest of that stuff. I would say focus on that that part at the beginning, that part of the music at the beginning. Uh, I don't know why you have it pan left. I think you should definitely have that in stereo because that's something I want to hear you know, all across. I mean, it's, it's the Jacksons, right? I mean, it just sounds so good. Why are you trying to hide it to the left? You know what I mean? Like I would say put it in stereo right there, bam, in your face, and then you can add your drums to it. Now, once you do that, you put it in stereo, then it'll sound better because right now you have it like that to the left and then your drums are just, they just kind of sound dry, like they're just down the middle dry, uh, like they're just kind of like on top of this this music, you know what I mean? So instead, if you have it in stereo, then you bring in the drums, that way you could just kind of mix the drums a little better and then work around that because uh, once you have once you change it up at that one point there and you, and you go like in a totally different direction, to me I just killed the mood because I thought no this is the Jacksons like how, how are you gonna screw that up you know but but in this case no I would say keep this the first part definitely keep the first part and uh, I think um, uh, that'll be really good yeah if you have that plus uh, the the drums like sitting nicely in the mix and then you can start adding little parts in here and there and I would suggest if you're going to go the sample route I would suggest taking you know if you have that that piece of music looping then just add in some like um, uh, like little vocal snippets of that song you know what I mean just kind of like toss it in here and there with some delay and reverb and all that that's a whole different thing whatever then you can start adding some maybe some synths you know so Maybe I should do that. I don't know. Anyway, all right. So, uh, yeah. But uh, anyway, try that. So that's it for me. I'm Mr. Fade. This is Attack of the Beats. Keep sending your beats in. I'll keep reviewing them. And my favorite beat is... The winner is... Strong roll, please. Mal Havoc with That's Funked Up, bro. Let's check it out. 